Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, church and family and friends all over the world. I welcome you uh, to Influential Church. Tonight is our Wednesday Bible teaching. And without wasting time, we want to, we want to take a time, a time in prayer tonight. So we're going to uh, move straight into prayers and then we'll come back for our Bible teachings tonight. And I, I trust that tonight will be a blessing to you. So tonight we want to start for with, a, with a prayer of adoration and thanksgiving to our God. The Bible says that let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So the question is, uh, do you have breath? And if you have breath, the Bible says, the Bible commands you to praise the Lord. Praise is a command. And the wonderful thing is that you don't need, you don't need music or anything to praise God, to, to worship or adore him. Because the Bible says that from him comes our praise. So it is from God. Uh, comes uh, comes our praise. Not only that, uh, he's also the reason for our, our praise. So lift your voice and give him thanks because God is good and his mercies endure it forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Makabe, rekabe, rekabe, irakabo, rakabe, irakabo, rakabe, rakabe, rakabe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Father, thank you, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed Trinity, one God, three persons, we worship you, we adore you, we love you, oh God. Father, you are the reason for our praise, oh God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thanks be to you, O God, who give us the victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hallelujah. We are grateful, O God, to know you. We are grateful that we are alive, O God. We are grateful that, that we can lift our voices, O God, with a shout, O God, and say hallelujah to your name, O God, because you have been good, you have been kind, you have been merciful unto us, O God. We have every reason to give praise, O God. The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And we know that there is breath within us, O God. You command praise, O God, and we give you praise, O God. And even if we don't feel like it, O God, we sacrifice, O God, to give praise and honor and adoration unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are awesome, O oh God. You are great and you are mighty, O oh God. We serve a living God, O oh God. Our Lord is God. Our Lord is God. There is only one God. Hallelujah. Creator of heaven and earth, O oh God. That is the God that we serve, O oh God. The God, the God only who can speak, O oh God. The universe into being, O oh God, by the command of his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There is no other deity, oh God, that can do that, oh God, because there is only one deity, oh God. Hallelujah. Only you can speak to things into existence that were not before, oh God, because you are creator, oh God. That is one of your attributes, oh God. And we recognize that. We set you apart, oh God, as holy, oh God. We set you apart, oh God, as eternal, infinite, oh God. Hallelujah. The only independent and sufficient, sufficient being in the universe, oh God. Hallelujah. Everything else is dependent on you, oh God. The Bible says that when a man, man hands cannot serve you, oh God. No, no. You don't need us, oh God. You don't, you don't need anything from us, oh God. You don't need our support, our support to be God. Hallelujah. You are God by yourself, oh God. Makabe, rekabe, rekabe, irakabe. Yes, yes, yes. You are God by yourself, King of kings and Lord of lords. Rekabo, rekabe, 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 rekabe. We will not give our praise unto another, O oh God. Praise belongs to you, O oh God. Praise belongs to you alone, O oh God. Hallelujah. And we shout our praise to you, O oh God. We honor you, we honor you, we honor you. Tonight, O oh God, we say be seen, O oh God. Be adored, be loved. Be praised, hallelujah. Be loved, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. We delight in you, oh God, and we delight in your word, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. For you are awesome, oh God, for you are good. Thank you for today, oh God. 
thank you for this afternoon. Thank you for tonight, oh God. Hallelujah. Wherever we are streaming from the world, oh God, we are saying thank you, oh God, because your mercy never ceases, oh God. Your faithfulness do not fail, oh God. Your promises do not fail, oh God. You have been faithful to us, oh God. You are a faithful God, and you have been faithful to us, and you are the one keeping us faithful, oh God. Even when we are faithless, oh God, you remain faithful, oh God, for you cannot deny yourself, oh God. What a good God. Hallelujah hallelujah that men should men would deny you oh god and you still remain faithful oh god you you still show mercy you still give grace oh god even though we deserve wrath oh god hallelujah for the bible said that mercy is triumphant over judgment it is in your heart to show mercy oh god it is your in your heart oh god to be gracious oh god that is who you are that is in your nature oh god Hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you and we thank you for the cross of Jesus Christ, oh God. There is nothing else that can save us, oh God. It is only through Jesus Christ, oh God, and the atonement that he made on the cross for us. That is the only means by which we can be saved, oh God. No other way, oh God. Not Jesus plus anything, oh God. Hallelujah. Jesus is all sufficient for everything, oh God. For life and godliness, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We are grateful. We are grateful for our salvation. We are grateful that we know you as our Father. We are grateful that Jesus is our Savior. We are grateful that the Holy Spirit is our helper. We are grateful that heaven is our home. We are grateful, oh God, that we have life and purpose on this earth, oh God. For Jesus, you have come to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, 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 thank you. Hallelujah. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Irakabe, rekabe. Makato, rekabo, rekabe. Irakabo, rekabe, kabe. Irakabo, rakabe, rekabe. Irakabo, rakabe. Rakabe, rakabe, rakabe. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We still pray. And I'm going to read a text from Acts chapter number 10. And I'm going to read, I'm going to start verse 38. It says, uh, the ESV translation, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. Why? For God was with him. For God was with him. And it started by saying how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit. Beloved, the most important thing is the presence of the Holy Spirit, is the anointing of the Holy Spirit, is the power of the Holy Spirit upon, upon, upon the church, upon, upon the corporate body, and upon the individual believer. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot do anything without the presence of God. Tonight, our meeting, our coming together will be meaningless. Unless God's presence is here, it will be like in the, in the night club. Uh, uh, probably the night club will be better, better tonight. Uh, they will do a better job if we don't have the presence of God. The Bible makes it clear that it is the presence of God that distinguishes us from the rest of humanity or from the rest of the nation. And tonight, the first thing is that we are praying is that Lord, uh, uh, even, even for the church actually, we are praying that Lord, we, we are asking for the anointing, the presence of the Holy Spirit to come upon the church, to come up upon the corporate body and the individual believer, uh, uh, the, in, the, individual, the individual believer. And not, not only do we want the presence of God in the meeting tonight, but on, uh, uh, st uh, on, on starting tomorrow, our, our fasting and prayer, as we meet every night for service, that God, uh, 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 we want your presence above all things. So that's what we're praying for, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit presence with his people. And it says, it says this, to anoint Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit. And then he said that with power, that word with power in the Greek uh, 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 or powers, it means, means the miraculous. That, that, those are the gifts of the Spirit. So we say that God anoint us with the giftings also, uh, with the giftings of the Spirit. We, 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 want, to, we want to move and exercise and, 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 and walk in the power of the giftings of the Spirit. So what is this anointing and, 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 and of, of God's presence and the, and the giftings for? He said that he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. 
for God was with him. So we say that God anoint us, bless us with your presence, grant us the giftings of the Holy Spirit, and, and so that we will, uh, uh, the purpose for, for the giftings and the presence of the Holy Spirit, so that we will go doing good in our community. If we, we want this year, we want to be, uh, this year is our year uh, uh, to take over. And if we're going to take, we're going to take over uh, 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 the community, then we need the presence and the giftings. And then say that to heal all who are oppressed by the devil. That is why the church is on earth, to set men free. Amen. Let's pray. Makato reka be reka be reka be reka bo reka bo reka be raka be ka be ka be reka bo reka be ka bo reka be iraka bo raka be raka be raka bo raka be raka be raka bo raka be raka be raka be raka be raka be tonight oh god we pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the presence of the Holy Spirit in the church, oh God, in the corporate body, oh God, in the influential church, oh God, in all of our services, oh God, tonight, oh God, and uh, our, our, our fasting commencing tomorrow morning with, with a devotional time and, uh, and, and another time, uh, another time in, in, in the evening, oh God, throughout the, the whole 29 days, oh God, that is coming before us in each of the services, oh God. Father, we are believing for the anointing the, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, O oh God, upon the corporate body of, of corporate body of, 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 of the church, O oh God, and, and upon, uh, upon, only upon each of the individual Christians, O oh God. We need your presence. We desire your presence. We cry for your presence, O oh God. There is nothing more that we desire than your presence, O oh God. Let your presence rest upon the church, O oh God. Even as the dove descended upon Jesus and rested, O oh God, let the presence of the Holy Spirit rest upon us permanently, ab abiding upon uh, on us, O oh God. Yes, Lord, that is the anointing, O oh God. That, 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 that the presence of the Holy Spirit, the presence of God will be among his people, O oh God. Makabe, Rekabe, Rekabo, Rekabe, 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 in influential church, O oh God. That is what, what we cry out for, for more, O oh God. Let us be a place of your dwelling, O oh God. A place, O oh God, where you desire to dwell, O oh God. Among us, O oh God. Manifestedly, O oh God. Tangibly, O oh God. We pray, we cry, O oh God. And we believe for, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. Rekabo, Rekabe, Rekabe. Iraka be, raka be, raka be, reka bo, reka be, reka be, iraka be, reka bo, reka be, iraka be, ka be, ka be, raka bo, raka be, raka be, iraka be, ka be, reka be, reka bo, reka be, reka bo, reka be, reka be, reka bo, reka be, reka be, raka be, raka bo, raka be, iraka bo, raka be, raka be, reka bo, reka be, raka bo, raka be, yes, yes, yes. Rekabo, Rekabe, tonight, oh God, we also believe, they said that Jesus Christ was anointed both with the Holy Spirit and with power, oh God. Tonight, oh God, we believe for the, for, for the power, for the power of the miraculous, oh God, in your church, oh God. We cannot do the work of God, oh God, unless we have the tools to work with, oh God. The giftings of the Holy Spirit, oh God, that is given to the church, oh God, by the will of the Spirit, oh God, is to, is to empower the church, oh God, is to equip the church, oh God. Uh, to do the work of the ministry, oh God. We need these giftings, oh God. The presence and the giftings of the Holy Spirit is not to serve ourselves, oh God. But the Bible says that, that we are to go out and do good, oh God, and deliver all who are under the power of the devil, oh God. That is what we are praying for. That is what we are believing for. That is what we are crying to you for tonight, oh God. The Bible says that when we pray according to your will, oh God, that you hear us, oh God. These things that we are asking, oh God, it is according to your word, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The anointing, the presence of God upon your people, upon the cor corporate body of Christ, oh God, and upon the individual Christians, and that is us, oh God, and the giftings of the Holy Spirit, oh God, you promise to give unto us, oh God. We believe for it, we cry for it, oh God. This is our birthright, oh God, as believers, oh God, and we will not let anybody rob us of our birthright, oh God. This is what we take possession of. You promise. You promise to give your spirit to them that ask, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And the, the Bible says, if we desire the, 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 the gifts of the spirit, oh God, you give it to us, oh God, as you will, oh God. Reka be, reka be. Irakabo, reka be, reka be, reka be. 
Rekabo, Rekabe. God, it is in our hearts, O God, to do good to men, O God, and to set men free, O God, because that is what Jesus, our Lord and Savior, did, O God. In actual fact, O God, it is Christ in us. We're doing the same thing, oh God, in us and through us, going around, oh God, doing good and setting men free from the oppression of the devil, oh God. It is not by our power. It is not by our mind, oh God. It is the mind of the Holy Spirit, oh God, uh, 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 and the presence of Jesus Christ, oh God, going with us, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we know that by ourselves, oh God, we can do nothing, oh God. Hallelujah. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Holy Spirit, oh God. We need the giftings, the giftings of the uh, of the Spirit, oh God. Rekabe, 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 rekabo, rekabo, rekabe, kabe, kabo, rekabe, ira kabo, rakabe, ira kabe, 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 rekabo, rekabe, rekabe, rakabo, rakabe, kabe, rekabo, rekabe, rekabe, ira kabo, rakabe, 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 kabe, kabe, ira kabo, rakabe, kabe, rakabo, rakabe, 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 kabe, kabe, rekabo, rekabe, rekabe. Rekabe kabe 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 rekabo rekabe kabe rekabo rekabe rekabe rekabo rekabe kabe rekabo kabe kabe rekabe rekabe rekabo kabe kabo rekabe irakabo rakabe rakabe kabe kabe thank you jesus we still pray we pray we are still praying along that same line in john chapter number i believe chapter number 15 the Bible gives an, uh, 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 an illustration. Uh, 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 Jesus gives an illustration by, by using the, 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 the vine, uh, 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 the, uh, the branch, uh, uh, the, the branch, uh, the vine, and, and, and the branches. And, and he said that he's the vine and we are the branches. And the thing, the thing is that he said that when, when we abide with him and he abides with us, that means we are united to Christ, which we are united by faith. The Bible says that, the Bible says that. The, 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 the life of the vine uh, 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 flow into into the into the into the, the branches and it bring and it bear fruit and not only does it bear fruit it bear it, it bears uh, uh, more fruit and then much fruit and and so the Bible calls us to fruit bearing and that that represent our our godly and holy life but that's not the only thing that's not the only area we are to bear fruit later on just later on in, in, in the same in the same uh, uh, illustration in verse number verse number 16 jesus said this this you did not choose me but i have chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give it to you amen so we we are we are chosen and we are appointed to go and bear fruit that means you and me uh, are also to bear fruit in the winning of souls so tonight we are asking that Lord, this is what we are believing for, uh, it, because He went on to say that if if you ask anything, if you ask anything in my, if you ask the Father in my name, He will give it to you. So we're going to ask uh, the Father in the name of Jesus Christ that this year uh, uh, for Influential Church, the, uh, this year being our year of takeover, that God we want to take as many souls into the kingdom be before Christ come. We want to win souls at all costs. We want to go crazy for Jesus in the winning of soul. That is the mission of the church. Amen. That is what we are commanded to do by Jesus Christ. So that is what we are believing for. So we say that God give us souls. Give us souls at all costs. Uh, 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 at, uh, at, at all costs. So raise your voices and begin to believe. So we want to take uh, 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 our community. We want to believe God for a great harvest and then our city and the nation and the nations of the world. Amen. Makato rekabe rekabo rekabe irakabo rakabe rakabe irakabo rakabe 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 irakabo rakabe rekabe rekabo rekabe kabe kabe rekabo rekabe rekabo rekabe rakabo rakabe 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 kabe 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 irakabo rakabe 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 rekabe Jesus you love so. That is why you came into the world to die for souls. Rekabo, rekabe. May the lamb that was slain receive the reward of his suffering. Tonight, oh God, based on your finished work on the cross, oh God. Tonight, oh God, knowing that you love sinners, oh God. Knowing that you die for sinners, oh God. 
you, you gave your life for our sins, O oh God, as the, as the only means by which we can be made right with God. Tonight, O oh God, in Ephesia Church, O oh God, this year being our year, uh, our year to ta uh, of takeover, God, we want to win souls. We want to make it our mission to win souls, O oh God. We want, to go, we want to go into our communities, O oh God, into the cities, O oh God, into the grass, into our workplaces, O oh God, in our neighborhood, O oh God, everywhere we go. God, we don't want to keep silence, O oh God. We want to tell men, O oh God, where they can find bread for their our souls, oh God, because we, we are beggars, oh God, who are fine bread, oh God. And we want to tell all, all other beggars, oh God, where they can find bread for their soul, oh God. Many are starving spiritually, oh God, and we are finding food, oh God. We don't want to keep it for ourselves, oh God. Lord, you have commanded us to win souls, oh God. And this, this is, we want this to be the drive, oh God, in our heart, in our life, oh God, because you love people, oh God. We want to love people just like you, oh God, because you die for them, oh God. We want to go and say that you die for them, oh God. We are praying that this year you give us souls, oh God. We want to be crazy, oh God, for the winning of souls. The Bible says that the one who wins soul is wise, oh God. We want to show ourselves wisely, oh God. We, this year we want to walk in wisdom, oh God. And one way to walk in wisdom is to win souls, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Reka be, reka be, reka be, reka be, reka bo, reka be, reka be. There is plenty in your house, O God. Whosoever we may come, O God. Rekabo, rekabe, rekabe. Irakabo, rakabe. Rekabo, rekabe, kabe. Rekabo, rekabe, rekabe. Irakabo, rakabe. Rekabe, rekabo, rekabe. Rakabe, rakabe, rakabe. Rekabo, rekabe, rekabe. Irakabe, rakabe. Rekabo, rekabe, rekabe. Rekabo, rekabe, rekabe, rekabe. Rekabo, rekabe, 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 rekabe. Lord, we want the winning of soul to be the crown of our rejoicing, O God. Rekabe, 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 rekabo, rekabe, irakabo, rekabe, 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 rekabo, rekabo, rekabe, kabe, kabe, kabe. Irakabo, rakabe, rekabe, rekabo, rekabe, in the name of Jesus. Beloved, we are still praying. In, Pro in Proverbs chapter number 3, verse 9, uh, 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 in the Proverbs, it said, it, said that, it said that, honor the Lord with your wealth, and, with, uh, and, and, then said, and, then, and then it said that, and with the first fruit of all your produce. Amen. This is very important. Uh, the, way, uh, the Bible is made it clear that, that, that we are to honor the Lord. And, and one way that you and me honor the Lord is, 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 is being faithful in our tithes and offering. When you pay your tithe and offering, you are honoring the Lord. You are not honoring your, your pastor. You are not honoring uh, any man. If, if anyone tells you that your, your pastor is the one taking money, your, 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 taking money from you so that he can spend it, we, where we know that some people are taking advantage by, by scripture, but, but you have to know that as a believer, the Bible says you are to honor the Lord. And if you want, if you want, to, if you want to acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus Christ on your life, that, that means he has to be Lord even of your, of your wallet. Amen. So tonight we are praying that God make us faithful uh, 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 tithe payers and, uh, uh, and offer or givers. We want to be faithful givers. You have to know that, you have to know that the church also, just like you meet your budget for your home, for your expenses, the church also has a budget. Uh, it has to pay its light bill. It, uh, it, has, it has to pay its electricity. How do you call it? Its heating system. If, if, mind you, the pastors of this church are not paid anyway. But and also that's how they can hire workers to work in the in the church. And also the, uh, they are they are they are equipment that the church uh, that doesn't have. Uh, 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 we need to replace most of our equipment. But the truth is that the money, the way God established it is that the money is going to come from your pocket and my pocket to help support the work, uh, the work of God in the advancements of the kingdom. And when you do that, the Bible says you are honoring the Lord. So we want to honor him tonight by praying that, Lord, make us givers in the church. Make us faithful tight payers. Amen. Let's pray. Makatu rekabo rekabe irakabo rekabe rekabe irakabo rekabe rekabe irakabo rakabe rekabo rekabe 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 
Father, the Bible commands us to walk in integrity, O oh God. That, that means that we be honest and truthful, O oh God. And the, uh, one of the ways that we are honest and truthful, O oh God, is when we are faithful with our tithe and offering, O oh God. When we do not pay our tithe and offering, O oh God, we, we, are, we are dishonest, O oh God. We are unfaithful, O oh God. And we dishonor you, Jesus, uh, by acknowledging you as Lord of our life, O oh God. That means we say that we can trust you uh, for our salvation, but we can't trust you with our money, O oh God. And yet you say, you say that we are to honor you with our wealth and uh, uh, with our wealth or with, uh, or, or with our tithe and offering, O oh God. And tonight, oh God, make us give us in the church, oh God, beginning with me, oh God, stir up, stir us up to giving, oh God. This is not the command of the pastor, oh God. This is the command of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh God. The Bible says, if we love you, we are to obey your commands, oh God. When we pay our tithes and uh, our offering, it's, it's, it's just gratitude, oh God. We are not under 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 law, but, but, but we show gratitude, oh God, because you have saved us, oh God. You have given you have given us the grace, oh God, to give, oh God. We know that giving is not is not for, 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 for the rich, oh God, but it is for the believer, oh God, according to uh, 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 second Corinthians chapter num uh, chapter number eight, oh God, that, that, that it is for believers, oh God, and we are believers, oh God. We want to trust you, oh God, to provide for us so we can be a blessing, oh God, because that is how you are establishing it, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We also want to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. You know that one way that believers are bred is when we support Israel. That is according to Bible. Uh, uh, that is not my word. That is Bible. The Bible says we have to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. That means, that means we have to pray for their security, their physical protection from their enemy. But also peace also means that we have to pray, we have to pray that they will have peace with God uh, 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 by knowing Jesus Christ as their Messiah. Uh, 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 or their the messianic hope. And that's what we're going to pray for. We're going to pray for the, the whole Middle East, the, 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 even the Arab nation, that, that God will also save them, that they will also have peace with Christ because, uh, because Jesus died for both Jewish and Gentile. Amen. Let's pray. Rakabu rakabe rakabe irakabu rakabe rakabe irakabu rakabe rakabe rekabu rekabe kabe kabe rekabe 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 irakabu rakabe rekabe rakabu rakabe rakabe rakabu rakabe Father, we pray for the Jewish nation, O God. We pray for Israel, O God, your Asian people, O God, that God, you will protect them, O God. The Bible says we have to pray for their, their security, O God, that they be protected from their enemies, O God. The Bible makes it, make, makes it clear that they, they are a people hated, O God. We see that in Scripture, and the Bible speaks prophetically, O God. That is going to happen even in the end times, oh God. So we, we know that this is this is this is what the Bible teaches, oh God. And we pray for their protection, oh God, that they be protected from their enemy, oh God. But we also pray for their salvation, oh God, that they will find peace in you, Jesus Christ, oh God, as their Messiah, oh God. Rekabe, 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 Rekabe. We pray for the whole, the whole area, Middle East area, oh God. God, we know that uh, physical, you do not come to give physical 
physical peace presently, oh God. A day is coming, oh God, where there's going to be, be, be peace, oh God. But we pray for that inward peace that you give to men, both Jewish and Gentiles, oh God. And we pray that, that even, 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 the, even in the Arab nation, that they will, they will know you as their Messiah, oh Lord. Rekabe, Rekabo, Rekabe, Irakabo, Rekabe, Irakabo, Rekabe, Rekabe, Rekabo, Rekabe, Rekabe, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening once again. It's now 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, New York Time. And once again, I welcome you to our Wednesday Bible teaching class. And I trust that tonight will be a blessing to you. I, I, I don't know about you, but I love this word. I love this word. And I, I trust that you love, you love it as well. This is the Holy Spirit greatest product to all humanity. And if you, on, if you honor the word of God, you will be on the good side of the Holy Spirit. I don't claim to know everything in the Bible, but, 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 but I'm hungry to know as much as God will give to me. Amen. And, and, and I trust that tonight you will help me to be faithful to the scriptures tonight. And before, before that, first of all, I want to acknowledge uh, and, and give thanks to, thanks to God for being gracious and kind, kind to me. First of all, saving me. And second, calling me into the greatest privilege to preach the gospel. It is all by, God, by the grace of God. Amen. There's nothing that is given to us except by grace. And I'm grateful for that. Uh, tonight, uh, tonight, tonight also, I want to recognize the Reverend Dr. Eric Achar who is a father to me, and I believe he's a father to most of you. He's, he's a great man of God. He has been in the, in the, vineyard, in the vineyard of God, uh, I believe, uh, 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 50 years, uh, over 40 years to 50 years. And, 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 and these are the people we should seek in the body of Christ. They, they, are, they are old people, and they are not old for nothing. Uh, the, 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 those gray hair uh, uh, have, uh, have a lot of wisdom, so that uh, anytime we need to process something in our life we can process up we can go to them and, and all the gray hair in the church we, we have to recognize them and give respect to them and 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 and, and, and listen to them i also want to i also want to recognize uh, uh, our lead pastor the reverend sifas kafi for 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 his faithful leadership in the church and also answering to the call of god and also he's is is the one who ordained me and 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 and, and he's a man to be honored he's a man to be respected and 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 I, I i will plead with the church to continue to support him in our prayers and for all the pastors and leaders of the of the church i also want to recognize uh, minister christa who is uh, behind the background she's the one uh, helping with all the technical the technical things so that we are able to uh, come live to you and also i i salute all the rest of the pastors and the and the deacons of the church and uh, and also uh, yeah and also our satellite church, the pastors of our satellite church, uh, 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 Pastor Richmore and uh, uh, Pastor Anita Ansa, I salute you all. Amen. So we thank you. Uh, I thank you for tonight for joining me. And tonight we, uh, is our, uh, our Bible teaching, and we're going to go straight into the Word of God. And, and I trust that tonight will be that God will speak to you. Every time we meet, it is in the heart of God to speak. Never come to church thinking that God is not going to speak. If God has a man in the pulpit, it's because he wants to speak. Amen. And also it, it, is, it, is, it is upon the, the preacher, the one who preached also, to seek the mind of God, to go, to go into the word of God, both in prayer and in the word, so that he can hear and bring you a message from, from the very heart of God that can set you free. So we are currently tackling the book of Galatians. So you can go to Galatians chapter number one. So that is the book that we are uh, we are we are uh, current, currently teach, teaching from. And the reason why I, once again the reason why I chose this book is because first of all it is a short document but a very important document of our faith. Most of uh, most of the central theme or the, the the central theme or the or the central doctrines of our faith comes from comes from that book. It is very doctrinal. It is the it is the most doctrinal book of all of Paul's letters. So it's a it's a, a good book to study because we need doctrine. Doctrine is very important. Doctrine is like cement in your con in your in your concrete. And if you don't have, if you, if you if you are not knowledgeable about the doctrine of your faith, your faith is going to shake. Amen. So that's why we that's why we study 
and, and, and we teach doctrines. So let's go to uh, Galatians chapter 1, and I'm, I'm reading from verse 1. And the scripture says, Paul, an apostle, not from men, nor true man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers who are with me, to the churches of Galatia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age, according to the will of God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be a case. As we have, as we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you receive, let him be a case. For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. For I will have you know, brothers, that the gospel that I preach by, but that the gospel that was preached by me is not man's gospel. For I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it but I receive it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it. And I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my own age, um, beyond many of my own age among my people. So extremely zealous was I for the tradition of my fathers. But when he who had set me apart before I was born and who called me by his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles. I did not immediately consult with anyone, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away into Arabia and returned again to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and remain with him 15 days. But I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. In what I am writing to you, before God, I do not lie. Then I went into the region of Syria, Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown in person to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only were hearing it said. He who used to persecute us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy and they glorify God because of me. Amen. We thank God for the reading of his word. Uh, 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 amen. So, uh, I, like I, I said that the first 10 verses of this book give us the introduction, and then the first five verses of the 10 verses give to us the salutation. The salutation, I told you, is, is an open greetings in, a, in an epistle or, or a letter. And right now, currently, we are in verse 4. So last week, we were, we were, we were, we were expounding on, on, on verse 4, where, where, we, where uh, uh, time, time was not on our side. So we want to return back to verse 4. But let me start from verse 1 to, and read to verse 4. And uh, recapture some of the truth in verse 4. It says, Paul, an apostle, not from men, not true man, but true Jesus Christ and the, and, and the God and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the and all the brothers who are with me, to the churches of Galatia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age according to the will of God and Father. Again, who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age according to the will of God and father amen so that's that's where we we, we ended last week on, on 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 verse four but we didn't finish that and i told you that uh, paul started with, with a statement who gave himself for our sins 
What does he mean when he said that he gave himself for our sins? And I say, one, as what? Blood sacrifice. Two, as substitute. So, 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 uh, 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 as substitute. But, uh, and the question is, why? And I told you that in Ezekiel 18, 20, it said that the soul who sins shall die. And, 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 then, and, and, then, and, then, and then again, Paul in, the, in Galatians later on said that scripture conclude that all are under sin. That means you and me, all humanity, all, all humanity, uh, uh, Adam, Adam and his posterity, we all have a condition called sin. We have a sin condition. That means we are broken on the inside. Uh, 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 on the inside. Our nature is sinful. It's not a matter of our conduct or behavior so that, so that you can say that I'm living a moral life. Even though conduct and behavior is, is important, but the problem is that the problem is condition, a, a, a condition. So you, you, it doesn't matter whether you are living a moral life. And, and, and even if you are living a moral life, your moral life is a fertile rock in the sight of God. It is not perfect in the sight of God. For the Bible says that our righteousness is what fatty rags. So, so that, that is also insufficient. And you can't keep the law of God perfectly anyway. So everyone is guilty of breaking uh, uh, the law of God. There is no one who has kept the, 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 the Ten Commandments or the Decalogue perfect, perfectly. Everyone is, uh, everyone is condemned uh, 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 as a sinner. So, so, so we have a sin condition. And, and, I, and we said that sinful humanity cannot atone for its own sin. I'll say it again. Sinful humanity cannot atone for its own sin. And, 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 so, and the question that, that we asked last week, we asked the question, so who can? If sinful humanity cannot atone for its own sin. But I also want to make another statement. Only, hum, only humanity can atone for humanity. And I will, I will, uh, you, you, you understand later what I mean by that. Even though, even though sinful humanity cannot atone for itself, you have to know that only humanity can atone for humanity. That means only humanity can atone for sinful humanity. But, but we, we, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to explain to you how is that possible. But the question is, there are possible ways that God could have gone about it, as we shared last week. The first thing is that he could have sent an angel. And we said that angels are a different order, order of being. Uh, human beings are created living soul, tripartite being, and they are created as living soul according to Genesis. And uh, however, however, we are told that angels are spirit beings. They are created all spirit. So, so, and I say that only, uh, only humanity can atone for humanity. That means angels cannot die for humanity because they are a different order of creation. So God could not possibly send an angel to die for humanity. And then we see that the, the next possibility, uh, uh, the next possibility that, that, that God, could have, God could have taken uh, was to send what? Uh, 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 was to give an animal a sacrifice to, uh, that the, the, the blood of animals uh, should take the sin of the people. And we find out that even the, uh, the blood of animals is insufficient to take away the sins of, 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 of the people or the sin of any, 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 any humanity. Uh, the Bible says, uh, we, when we read uh, Hebrews chapter number 10, it, it said that it is impossible for, what, for the blood of bulls and goat to take away sin. It is impossible. It, 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 there's, the, 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 there's no way it can, take, uh, it can remove the, 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 the consciousness of sin and, or, or it, can, it, can, it, can, it, can, it can remedy and, 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 and correct the, our sin condition. It is not possible. Besides, animals are, are not, are not uh, souls. They are not living souls. They do not, I would like say, they do not have a soul and a will. That means they do not have a moral choice between right and wrong. So that, so that animals cannot die for, for human, for human uh, 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 sins. But, you, but, but we said that, how about the old covenant? God instituted the animal sacrifices. Yes, he instituted the animal sacrifices to cover the sin of the people. But you have to know that even in that covenant, that the animal sacrifices were all pointing, according to scripture, they were all pointing or prophetically speaking to, to what is to come. So, so it, it, it is, it is it, it, if, even, even in that, that dispensation, the animal blood, the animal blood, that, the sacrifice that was made, didn't take away their sin in, in reality because it is impossible for, uh, for it to do so. It was pointing them, it was, it was, it was pointing them to the a coming Messiah. They had it as a promise. As a promise, so so Jesus uh, uh, Jesus coming 
uh, 2,000 years ago, before then, uh, everyone else was, was expecting a Messiah, uh, the Savior to come. Uh, so the animal sacrifice were, was pointed there. It was, it was speaking prophetically about the Messiah that is come to, who is going to come, who is Jesus Christ, who is the reality, and, uh, 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 or, or the archetype of the shadow which the animal sacrifices represent. And beside that, we, we also uh, went into detail and explained why, why, why it, it couldn't take away sin. We say that at best, uh, when, when the blood is sprinkled with the, with the ashes of uh, the, the high fire, at best, it, it set the people apart outwardly, but inwardly, it couldn't remove their sin. It couldn't remove their guilt. Uh, it couldn't cleanse the conscience. Because we, we told you that on the day of, uh, of atonement, on Yom Kippur, when the people got there and the high priest uh, 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 make the sacrifice and enter the Holy of Holies and, and, and sprinkle the blood, uh, uh, we know that it's supposed to cover the, the, the people. But, but you have to know that even though that's how God made it to cover the people, when the people walk under that covenant, when they walk from the, from, 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 from the sacrifice, when they are going uh, inwardly, they, they were still under the condemnation of sin. The guilt is still there because the animal sacrifice didn't remove it. Uh, 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 couldn't remove it. So even though they are, even though God said, "I cover you," they were still going. The law was still uh, uh, accusing them. And and as they go in, and God forbid, they walk away and they and they see somebody and they and they and, and somebody uh, walk on their feet and they curse at the person. Then they become guilty again. And then and and in becoming guilty, they add to their previous guilt. So it was guilt upon guilt upon guilt. And 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 also, if the people sin, then they have to go back. And make another sacrifice, and then and then and then they can't, and then they send another sacrifice, another sacrifice. It's like being saved and and, and unsaved, and being saved and unsaved uh, 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 all the time. And the Bible said the sacrifices themselves were a reminder for their sin. So every time that the the animals were were being sacrificed, instead of taking away sin, it was rather reminded them that they were sinners. That's what the Bible said. It was a reminder that 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 they were guilty. So it was not really doing anything. But the way God saved them is that God, God was not looking at the animal sacrifices, but what the, the animal sacrifices was pointed to, that is the Messiah, the, the reality that was to come. So they were also saved by, by, by the promise of the Messiah. They believed the promises according to Hebrews. I think Hebrews chapter 11, they, 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 they believed the promises. They welcomed it. They embraced it. They put their trust in it. And that is how they were saved. And the way and, and, and everybody after the cross, we also say by looking back to the cross, the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. And that is how you and me also become, uh, become saved. So that is so the possibility of animal sacrifice to take away the sins of the people was, was also not, was not was also insufficient to do that. So God will not uh, uh, do that also to take the sins of the whole world. And then beside, we give another, another option that God could have done is to create another human race. You know that the first Adam, uh, 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 God created him. He put him in a probational period. And the Bible says that in that probational period, uh, the Bible says that he sinned. He failed, he failed God. God commanded him not to eat of the fruit of, of, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For the day that he, 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 he ate it, he will surely die. And the Bible says that, 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 that the, the, the woman was deceived by the, the serpent. She ate the fruit and she gave and then she gave to the husband to eat of the fruit, uh, which is Adam. And the Bible says that, that Adam and his posterity uh, 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 fell. So, uh, so uh, all the human race was tainted with sin. So, so that was the first question. But, but the, the possible way is that God could have created a second Adam. And that, is, and, and that second Adam is another human, another human being uh, to, to, to come and atone for, for the sin of the first Adam uh, 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 who, who failed. So, but, but, but remember, I told you that only humanity world can atone for humanity. Humanity. So, so why do we say that that also is not sufficient? That also is not sufficient because if God should have created a second Adam, and the second Adam should come, you have to know that when the second Adam come, uh, he, uh, uh, the, the second Adam has to fulfill uh, all righteousness. He has to care, he has to keep the he has to keep uh, he has to keep the law perfectly in the letter. And, 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 and in the spirit of it. So, so uh, but there's no guarantee because he's a creature. There's no guarantee that that, 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 that creature, man, could, 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 could pass those tests 
uh, those tests that uh, that you know that Jesus went through. We will talk about that later. So uh, that 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 creature could pass those tests and then come and atone for for the sin the, the sins of the people. Of course, if we can have, if we can, if we can if we can keep the the law perfectly and and also uh, 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 fulfill all righteousness, okay, then they, they will be qualified to atone for the sin. Uh, for the sin of the people, but still it will not be sufficient. I'll tell you why. The reason why I, I, I will tell you that even, even a second Adam will not do, besides God cannot guarantee that they will not fail. The second reason is that even if, uh, 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 remember, the, f the first sin, the, the first Adam and his posterity, that's you and me, the sin that we committed is against a holy and an eternal God. And and the death and the and the and the and the, and the, and the penalty of, of of our crime is death. But that because it is against a holy and an eternal God, that death is to last eternally. It is to be perpetual. It is an eternal separation. So it's it's not a matter of a, a few a few minutes and then and, and then and then it's over. It is a matter of eternity. Uh, eternity. All, all who are not atoned for will be separated from from God for all eternity. Uh, so far as uh, the law is concerned, the soul that sin shall die. That is the law, uh, 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 the law. And, and, and uh, so, 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 so we know that the creature that God created is not eternal. There's no way a creature can, can first of all, die for the sin of even one individual eternally, besides dying, dying for the sins of the whole world, bearing the sins of the whole world, and, 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 and suffering the agony of hell, for, uh, that, that men were supposed to suffer for all eternity. And besides that, it is not only man that has to be redeemed. It, uh, the whole cosmic uh, 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 universe has to be redeemed. The, fe the first creation has to be, uh, has to be, has, uh, also has to be redeemed. So that, that it was not possible because this creature will not be an eternal being. So the, God has only uh, 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 the, 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 the last option. Which option is what he took? Uh, and that means God becoming man. And, and, and in God becoming man means that God have to send his one and only son, the son of God, the second person of the trinal God, uh, who, himself is also, who himself is God. So we know that the Bible said the son of God became man. He, he, that means he added hum, human nature to the, divine, to the divine nature. By the way, in adding the human nature to the divine nature, you have to know that both natures, do not mix. The divine nature and the human nature don't mix together. They do, they, do, they, do, they do not collapse together. We do, it is not, it is not a, a, how do you call it? It is not a case of a high, a high bridge of, 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 of a deity and a God mixing together where in Greek mythology you have a half God and a, and a, and a, and a half man, just as we have in Hercules. No. That's not what we have. That's not what Christianity believes. That's not what Christianity teaches, and that is not what the Bible teaches. The Bible says that in Jesus becoming man does not mean that uh, he he makes humanity with his nature. It simply means that 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 that, that, that he he added human nature to divine nature without both nature missing, both nature preserved, but but it is united in the one person of the Son of God. So it's one person, two natures. You know that in the Trinity we have what we have one God, uh, uh, three persons. But 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 in, in, in the nature of Christ, in the nature of in the nature of Jesus, it is one person, two natures, and, the, and both natures are preserved. So it's hundred percent God, hundred percent man, uh, hundred percent man. Amen. So we have to we have to maintain that. We have to distinguish that and maintain it to know that these things do not miss. So everything that Jesus did. Uh, in dying on the cross, the reason why he died, he, he, he died as man. Uh, 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 the, the human part is what died, because we know that God cannot die. That's why, uh, that's why God has to become man, to, to add to, the, to that divine nature, because God himself cannot die by his, by his own nature, because he is self-existent, he is living. That means he, he, he eternally existed, and that, that which eternally exists cannot, cannot die. So, but, but, but the way God came to die for us is that he added that human, human uh, nature to his own nature. And, 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 and in doing that, he, he, came, he came to secure our salvation. That is why he can, he can go on the cross and die for us. That's why humanity is, uh, is dying for humanity, just as I, uh, I said. Uh, so God added the human nature because he knows that only 
human nature can, can atone for the sin of humanity. But the, the, the good news also that God became a man is that it was impossible for him to fail also. Like I told you that in the, in the, in the case of the, if God should create another human being, there's no guarantee that, that they will not fail. In the God man, 100% God, 100% man, it was impossible for him to fail because he's God in flesh. And, 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 and that is the only way God could secure our, our, our salvation. And he is not the second Adam. He is the last Adam. That, uh, the second is the second man, of course, but he's the last Adam. That means there's not going to be another fall. There's not going to be another repetition of this. Uh, 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 that is why, uh, that is why he, he came to secure our salvation once and for all, for all time. Uh, uh, so Jesus, the son of God, couldn't fail. Uh, so he was destined to, 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 to succeed because he's God in the, in, in the flesh, in the flesh. Yes, everything that he did, he did as man through the power of the Holy Spirit, fully dependent on the Father, on the Father. But there is no way he could have failed. Amen. So that was that. That's why God Himself has to come to to to, to secure our uh, your salvation and my salvation. But I, I want us to also look at uh, 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 John in John chapter First John chapter two verse two. It says, "And Jesus is the atoning sacrifice for our sins." And not only for our sins, but also for the sins of the whole world. Amen. So the Bible made clear that he's the atoning sacrifice for your sins and my sins, and not just for the sins of every believer, but the sins of the whole world. And remember, I, I told you that uh, the, the work of atonement, the work of redemption is also cosmic. It's a cosmic redemption. That means he redeemed the, 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 the physical world also, the first creation. So he was not only dying for for humanity was dying to 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 restore the 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 the, 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 the creation that was made by, by 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 the sin of man you see the reason why we suffer earthquakes hurricanes and all that uh, uh, is because of the curse of, of sin that god cursed cursed, cursed uh, the land because man, man, man sin and jesus is one day is to remove that curse forever from 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 the earth so he came to give us a cosmic redemption that's why in 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, verse 17, is it verse 18? Paul said that if anyone be in Christ, new creation. I know sometimes the other translation put it like this. If anyone be in Christ, he's a new creation or a new creature. That is true. He, he, indeed, when you become born again, you become a new creation, a new creature. But in the Greek, it means more than that. In the Greek, it means if anyone be in Christ, new creation. So it's not just a new creature. Is part of it, but there's going to be a whole new cosmos, a whole new universe. Uh, uh, this this universe that we see it, God God in the cell is going to redeem it. It's going to renovate it, just as human beings are, are redeemed uh, 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 in their soul, and uh, in their spirit, and in their soul, and and also to receive a glorified body. The earth is also going to be redeemed according to the Bible. So that is what Jesus came to do. Let's turn our Bibles to First Peter chapter. Three. Still, we are talking about he gave himself for our sins. So we, we find out that in, in, in Christ atoning for, for this, uh, being the atoning sacrifice and uh, uh, for our sins, the, uh, the sins of, of the whole world was, 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 was what? It was the blood, it was, it was his blood that he shared, and he, and he was what? Our substitute. But let's look at First Peter chapter 3. In 1 Peter chapter 3, I'm going to read verse 18. It says, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh. I'll read again. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh. So here, here we are told that what Christ suffered, and what did he suffer? He suffered death. He suffered the agony of hell. On, on that cross, when he was dying, remember he was dying, he died, the Bible says he was, he was put to death in the body. So it was in the body that atonement, uh, on the cross, that atonement was made for us. 
That is where also he defeated all of hell. That is where he endured the agony of hell. Remember when he said, uh, Father, uh, 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 my God, my God, why have I, why have you forsake me? That is where he felt the the, the, the separation, uh, the separation that you and me were to experience. I, I don't understand fully uh, everything about the cross. I don't know who understand fully everything Christ suffered on the cross. But there are there are many things we can say about his suffering on the cross. But 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 there are especially. The, the spiritual aspect of it, we know so little. We, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know uh, 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 the, 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 the depth of that suffering. The only thing is that that, that, that we know when we are redeemed by, by, by that sacrifice. We, we know that we know we know what it means to be free from sin. That means if you were born again, you know what it means to be free from sin. Free from sin. So the Bible says Christ suffered death on the cross in the body once for all sin. So he died once. Uh, for all sin. Remember that the blood of uh, bulls and goat couldn't well atone, uh, couldn't take away the sins of the people. That is why those sacrifices on a yearly basis have to be repeated and repeated. And if you, and, and sometimes also on a daily basis, there were there were sacrifices being made. But Jesus Christ died once for all time. Uh, the, the, the one sacrifice he made on the cross was sufficient. That when 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 Paul said in Galatians chapter 1, verse 4. He gave himself for our sins. You have to know in the, the, the context in which Paul is speaking in the book of Galatians. Uh, uh, Paul here is talking about the sufficiency of the sacrifice, the atonement that he made on the cross. That is the gospel. Because in the book that we are, we are, we are, we are talking about, you're going to find out that, that there were people, uh, there were people in the, the people, they were called the Judea, Judaizers, who were teaching that uh, you need, you need the, the, the work of the, the, the work, right? The, the, the work of atonement plus plus circumcision to be saved, or the work and the, and the, the observer of the law to be saved. But Paul said, no way. No, 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 no. The sacrifice Jesus made on the cross was sufficient to, to, uh, uh, to atone for sins once and for all, not only to atone for sin once and for all, just as Peter is also saying. But, but So on that basis alone, that you and me can receive forgiveness of sin, and, 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 and that we will escape eternal death, which is the penalty of, of, of sin. So that is the only way we, we could escape uh, 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 adequately. That is the only way we could escape. Give me one minute. Rekabo, 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 Thank you, Jesus. That is the only way we could escape. We could escape eternal, eternal death. So, 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 so we are talking about the sufficient. The Christ work is, is is sufficient to atone for your sin. It doesn't matter what sin you committed or what sin anyone have committed. That one sacrifice is enough for every sin that you ever committed, past, present, and future. He atoned for it once and for all. Uh, for, uh, 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 for all times, amen. So that is the uh, one thing you should you should you should know. And they said that for Christ suffered once for sin, the righteous for the unrighteous. So he is the righteous one who, who died for the unrighteous. That means you and me are unrighteous. The Bible says you and me are, are powerless, weak, un ungodly, sinners, uh, uh, enemies of God, alienated from God, children of wrath, under the condemnation. Or, 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 of judgment, or, 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 of judgment. That is you and me before before Christ. And the Bible says that the, the righteous for the unrighteous. Why, why does it say the righteous for the unrighteous? Because you have to know, Jesus, when Jesus came on this, he said two things, two incredible things that, that he said, two things that if anybody in his generation heard it, 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 will, it will stand them. First of all, he said that, uh, uh, on the, on his baptism, he said that let's let's fulfill uh, 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 let for, let let us fulfill all right all righteousness. And then later on, he made a statement in the in the summer of the month. He said that I I did not come to abolish the law or the prophet, but to fulfill them. That is an incredible statement. He said, "I've come to fulfill the law." You have to know that prior to Jesus Christ, nobody has ever said nobody has said or done that. Prior to Jesus Christ, everyone else before Jesus failed. And yet, here is a man in 
Jerusalem or, uh, or in Israel 2,000 years ago, standing there and said that I've come to fulfill the law. Let me, let me show you something in the book of, in Acts chapter number 5. In Acts 5, is it Acts 5? Let me see. No, Acts chapter, I think 15, 15, sorry. That's the Jerusalem Council. In, in this Jerusalem Council, Peter made a statement here about, about everyone else prior Christ, prior to the statement Christ made. He said, uh, 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 because here also in the Jerusalem Council, there were, there were people who were trying to say that the Gentiles, the sacrifice Jesus made for their salvation was not sufficient, that, that they should observe the law, they should be circumcised. And then Peter said this in verse 10 in Acts chapter number 15. Now, therefore, why are you putting God to the test by placing a yoke on the neck of the disciple that neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? Hear what Peter is saying? He said that before Jesus, Jesus came, Nobody was able to fulfill the law. We, it was a yoke. We couldn't bear it. It, it, it. it was a yoke on our neck that nobody was able to bear. Nobody was able to, 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 to fulfill the law perfectly. Nobody was able to keep the law. And yet the Son of God came, and he, the Bible said that he came and he fulfilled the law of God perfectly, both in the letter and in the spirit of it. Know that it is not only in the, in the letter of it, which, which some of the Pharisees were, were, were good at, they were able to keep the letter of, of, of the law uh, to some point, and they said, look, I am, uh, uh, I'm holy. In actual fact, they were, uh, uh, in their generation, they were considered the most, the most righteous. And yet Jesus said that your righteousness has to exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. So that the Pharisees' righteousness was not even enough because the, uh, 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 besides keeping the, the law in the letter, you were to keep it in the spirit. That's where, when, when the Pharisees said, that, look, I have not physically slept with a woman, so I have not committed adultery. Jesus said, wait a minute. Uh, 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 that is not the, 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 the whole definition of the law. He said that if you lust after a woman uh, uh, in your heart, you are already guilty of committing adultery. That is the spirit of the law. And Jesus kept both the letter and the spirit of the law. He fulfilled all righteousness. And so he obtained the righteousness of the law so in obtaining that righteousness, that perfect righteousness, he went on the cross and became a substitute for the unrighteous so that you and me can receive the righteousness of God, which is in Christ Jesus by imputation. Amen. So he said that the, right, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God. That is another important statement, that he might bring us to God. This is very important because you have to know that salvation is not coming to a building. It's not coming to a church. It's not coming to a synagogue. It's not coming to a temple. It's not coming. It's not coming to a mosque. Salvation is coming to a person. That's why he said that to bring us to God. So salvation is coming to a person. And then, and, and also when I say salvation is coming to a person, also it's not just any any person. It's not. It's not coming to a rabbi. Coming to a priest. Coming to coming to 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 to, to a pastor. But salvation is coming to God. It's coming to to Jesus Christ, the God-man. Salvation simply means God uh, uh, taking residence in you, that Jesus uh, coming to, to dwell in you. That is eternal life. Eternal life is, is, a, is a person. Uh, uh, that's the person of the Son of God dwelling in, within you. The Bible says that in him was life, and the life was the, 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 uh, well, was the light of, of men. And then later on in his episode, John said that, and this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. Now he's going to give us eternal life for you. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. He who has the son, what has life. He who does not have the son of God does not have life. So in order to have eternal life, uh, eternal life is to have Jesus coming to dwell inside of you by the presence of the Holy Spirit within. Amen. That is the most amazing thing about our salvation, and, 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 and that's the life of God within us. It is God's presence within us. And if you have not experienced that tonight, uh, tonight at the end of, the, of, of, of this teaching, I would like to invite you to this amazing experience. And I don't have to tell you much about your life. 
you, you know you know yourself you know you know where you are some of you uh, uh, the bible says that that, that 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 we are dead to god we are hopeless we are people most of you uh, who are who don't know this experience uh, uh, the bible makes it clear you are without hope you are you, uh, 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 your problem is not your conduct your problem is that you are dead you are dead to god and and there's no th there's nothing you can do to resurrect yourself uh, uh, life is a prerogative right of god only god can give life and only god can resurrect dead people and that is what salvation means he came to resurrect you from your deadness from your separation from god and, and so that is so that is what paul was paul was trying to bring up bring out here in this teaching so that so that when he said in galatia he said that christ gave himself for our for our sin one as a blood sacrifice and as a substitute to bring to to atone for your sin, that you and me will receive forgiveness of sin uh, 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 and, uh, and, uh, and 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 eternal life, and uh, so that heaven heaven will, will now be secure for us. Next week, and then in, let me see, let me see, let me go back there. Galatia. In that, so so he said like who gave himself for what our sin and then he said what well, to deliver us from this present evil age according to the will of god and father to whom be glory forever and ever amen so next we will when we come back we'll pick up from there what it means to be delivered so it's not it's not that he died only to 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 what uh, to, to to that we may obtain forgiveness of sin and and what I do call it justification before God and that and, and that we and that we know that heaven is our home but the Bible says that it says something more there's something more in that to deliver us from this present evil age and we will talk about that next week amen I thank you tonight for I, I try uh, uh, for tuning in tonight to to listen to the teachings of the word of God and I trust that tonight the teachings was a blessing to you as much as it is a blessing to me. I don't take this lightly. I tremble uh, at the word of God. I know that it is a sacred thing to, 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 to teach from this book. We're talking about an eternal being, God Almighty. is the author of this book, not man. He, he created everything. And, 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 it, and you, you have to tremble when you preach this word because... It is a holy thing. It is a sacred thing, and some, uh, and it, 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 it's only by God's grace we are able to teach from this. Amen. So I, I'm grateful for that. But tonight I want to make an appeal to someone. Tonight maybe you are hearing me. Maybe somebody told you that 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 that, that there are many ways to go to 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 heaven. Uh, 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 that is what the world teaches. It's called pluralism. There are many ways. To God, there are many ways to heaven. One road does not lead to 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 heaven. That means all religions will take you to heaven. But Jesus Christ make an exclusive st statement, and that is an exclusive. In making that exclusive exclusive statement, he excludes every other religion, and he said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. So that he said that he is the only way to heaven. He's the only way to God. Besides, he is the one who came from. He came down from heaven. And he's the one who can tell you where heaven is. All the other religions um, are human, are human beings who are, who, whose, whose destination has only been on earth, and they are dead and they, they've not been resurrected. But Jesus is the Son of God, He's God Himself. He created the, the, the universe, He came into it, He came among His people, He became man, and He died. And He's the only one who knows the way to, to His house. If I want to give you a direction to my house, you, 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 uh, unless I give it to you, you don't know the direction of my uh, my house. And Jesus said that word, "I am the way," and I'm the. And then he said, "I am the truth." That, that means that the, 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 that word means that the only realist. That every uh, truth is absolute. Truth is not relative, as they will tell you in this world. So so don't believe anyone who tells that truth is a relative. It is absolute. And Jesus said that I am that real reality. Everything has to be conformed to me. If you want to know the truth. You have to come to me. And that truth is what I offer to save your, your soul. Just as I, I gave the teachings tonight, that, that the sacrifice he made on the cross is the only sufficient sacrifice to save you. And then, of course, 
And then he said, I'm the life. He's the only one who can give you life, eternal, eternal life. And if you want to experience that, if, then, then I, I want to lead you into this prayer. So, so first of all, I want you to know that, hey, you have to admit that you were a sinner. It's, uh, 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 that's the point. If, if you don't believe that you were a sinner, then, then you, you don't even need a cure. Because, because if you don't admit your, your sickness, why seek a cure? You have to admit you're a sinner. And you, are, and, 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 and you might say that you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you keep the, the law or, or you, you follow a certain rules and you're a good person, but God said that that is not enough. I'm, I'm looking for perfection, flawlessness. And there's, uh, there's no way you can tell me that you are without flaw or you, you, you've kept the law of God perfectly and you, you've ever broke it. The law doesn't offer salvation. It doesn't offer mercy. It only offers judgment, and, and, and that is the, that's where you are right now. You are under the judgment and condemnation of God. The only way you can be saved is through the sacrifice of Jesus, and that is B, believing him as Savior. The atonement that he made on the cross, uh, God sent him to die on the cross for your sin and my sin, and by putting your faith in that finished work as the only means, the only and necessary means that you can be saved, he will save you. The Bible says, he that calls upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved and see you confess him as law that means that now from now on you are in charge of my life you are boss of my life by the way that is the best part if, if because if i use the word boss and charge you may think that that's 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 a harsh thing but that is actually the best part somebody somebody living your life for you uh, 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 in, in this in this case it is god and it's wonderful that and, and that's relationship actually that's what it means to have a relationship with god and, and, and so I want to invite you tonight, if you want to make that decision, let's pray. Pray this prayer after me. Father, I thank you for the teachings tonight. I've heard the message, the message of salvation, the message of the atoning sacrifice on the cross as the only means to be saved. I heard the message that there is nothing that I can do that can end me a place with you in heaven. There's no way I can atone for my own sin because I am broken on the inside. I am a sinner, I admit, and I know I deserve hell. And by you have sent Jesus, your son, who became man and died on the cross for my sins that I may receive forgiveness. Tonight, I'm choosing to put my faith and confidence and trust in Jesus Christ alone and his finished work on the cross as the only means by which I can be saved. I, 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 I transfer my trust, that's my righteousness, my, my trust in myself, I transfer it to you and I receive your trust, Jesus, the righteousness that you impute unto me. And I, and I confess you as Lord. From now on, I say you are in charge of my life control my life from now on. What you say, I will say. Where you send, I will go. And I thank you for that relationship. And tonight, I say boldly that God is my Father. Jesus is my Savior. The Holy Spirit is my helper. Heaven is my home. And you have a plan, a purpose for me on this planet Earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let me, let's pray. Father, I thank you for if anyone made this confess, uh, uh, if anyone make this took this decision uh, uh, to give their life to you, to turn their life to you, to be saved. My uh, my prayer is that you protect and preserve them from the wicked one in the name of Jesus Christ. My prayer is that 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 as they they, they find a Bible, a Bible, and and they read it and they they talk to you, that that you speak back to them, that they will know you indeed, that truly. You are their father. I pray that you cover them uh, once again by the same blood that has saved them tonight. Let it cover and protect them. Let the Holy Spirit fill them with the Holy Spirit tonight, Father, uh, 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 to empower their life. I pray that they will live an empowered life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I also pray for, 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 for all of us who, who heard the word tonight as you spoke it faithfully to us. And, 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 and I pray that that, 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 that we, will, we, we, will, we, will, we will, Paul said that, Paul, Paul said that, 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 Paul said that I, I am crucified to the world and the world is crucified to me. That's through the cross of Jesus Christ. That means we will not, we will not be fascinated by, 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 by the world, 
by, by this, the things that are going on in the world, the corruption the, 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 and, the, and the lawlessness, oh God, will not be attracted to those things that, 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 that will look to the loftiness of the cross, the central theme in our faith that, that will know that that is the only means by which uh, uh, we can be saved. And that is the only means by which we can obtain victory in every battle, oh God. For the Bible says that we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. That is the sufficiency of the blood of Jesus. I pray that you cover your people. Fight all their battles, O oh God. And help them, O oh God, where they are in life right now, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I also pray that you give grace to us as we enter our fasting season starting tomorrow. We, we're asking for grace, Lord. We need that grace, Lord. And we pray for a special visitation. We pray that at the end of our fasting, we'll come to a place of renewal, a place of strength, a place of power, ready, oh God, for everything that you have for us this year, oh God, our year of takeover, oh God, to know that, that you are calling us to something greater and higher than us, oh God, and it can only be accessed by faith that this year we'll attempt great things, oh God, or we'll believe for great things and we'll attempt great things for your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in tonight. And I hope to see uh, tomorrow starting uh, 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 6 a.m. Our, our prayer and fasting command morning devotion with our pastor, Reverend Sifa. So don't remember to tune in. And I know that he sent the, 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 the devotion for the, for the, uh, the, the, the he sent the devotion for, the, for, for, for us to follow. So read it and get yourself ready uh, for tomorrow. And, and, and I, I guess tomorrow, today we eat our last meal and tomorrow we commence our fasting and, and God will give us grace, amen. This is not a matter of law. Uh, God will give us grace. And, and if you are, so if at any point you are, you are hungry and you, you feel like you can't handle it and, and, and you can take a piece of bread and, and, and water and, and, and maybe if you fail and you eat, know that this is not condemnation, this is not law. We, this is grace and uh, uh, fasting uh, remember the teaching is that jesus christ sacrifice is sufficient so fasting is not given to save you it's just giving it's a mist where your flesh is put in a place where where where, where uh, fasting simply means you're having more time with god that's all it means amen god bless you bye bye <laughs>